Hello everyone, my name is Hai. I play mid lane for uh, the team FlyQuest. And today I'm going to do a Corky guide so that you can learn how to play him, the builds to do on him, the runes, and how to play the character in general so that you can get some ELO. So the most important thing first off is to choose the correct skin. My personal favorite skin is either the Arcade's Corky skin or the Earth Rider Corky skin, which is this one right here. Now, when you look good, you'll feel good, and you'll play good, and that's important, all right? For the rune pages for Corky, you'll have two different pages that you'll generally use. The first one will be one that has attack damage reds. For your yellows, you'll either have flat armor. For this page, you'll have flat armor. For your blues, you will have eight magic resistance, and then some mana regen blues, um, three of them. And then for your quints, you will have three attack speed quints. You would use this page for champions that have AD, say for example your Corky vs. Lucian, or Corky vs. Zed, Talon, etc. People that do physical damage, you want armor. And then for the other page, you can run one that has magic resistance and health. So you would run something similar to this. You will have the same reds, the same quints, but your yellows will be switched to scaling health, and then your blues will just go all ma magic resistance. So those are runes for Corky. For your masteries, you will run a page that is 18-12. You'll go five points into Fury, a point into Feast, five into Natural Talent, Battle Trance, and you'll get Piercing Thoughts because Corky is like 90% magic damage. You do not want Battering Blows. You'll go Warlord's Bloodlust, go into the Cunning Tree, get Savagery, Secret Stash, or Assassin, depending on which matchup you're versed. If you're versed an easy matchup, I would recommend Assassin. If you're versed a hard matchup, I'd recommend Secret Stash. Following that, you'll want five points in the Merciless. If, once again, you feel like you're going to be in a hard matchup where you need mana and you're not necessarily going to kill him that much, you could do a point or even two points into Meditation, so that way you can farm effectively with your Q and not worry about running out of mana. And for your last point, you go Dangerous Game. So you're 18, 12, and this is your Corky Mastery page. All right, so I'm going to be reviewing this Corky game I played. I'm going to tell you what not to do. First off, so I see that my team is fighting the blue force. I want to shove in the wave. So Le LeBlanc runs over, obviously. It's on their side of the force. She's like, oh, here's a free kill. So there's nothing I can do about that. At this point, I just want to shove the wave in and make my best to make her miss as much CS as possible under the wave. So here I make a conscious decision to shove the wave and start hovering towards her. I clear the wave. I see that she's killing people. She's chasing down the swain. I'm shoving the wave in. Bam. She misses this entire way, so even though she gets kills in the forest, she missed out on two melees, a tank, and like four range. I run over to try to protect my Swain, but unfortunately, she flashes on Swain and kills Swain. Now, here I should just ignore her. I should let her just run around, but instead I walk her over and I'm more or less trolling at this point. Check it out, check it out. Boom! That was a very good W though. Like, look how far I went. And then I flashed on this guy, and there's no way he dies. Like, I just don't have the damage to kill him, he could just jump away. And then I run through the tier two turret and the end turret and I'm just sitting around and I'm not doing anything productive. Oh, I die here. How did I die here? Oh, I towered over this guy. Yeah, this probably wasn't that smart either. Probably should have W'd the moment I outed him. I couldn't kill him before the chain landed. That's okay, he misses a wave here, so. It's fine to do. Here, here we call. I have 2,300 money so I can finish Triforce. I have enough leftover money to choose between the Zeal or BF Sword. I will choose BF Sword because your missiles just do that much more damage when you get the AD. And then I decide to get a Magic Resistance item because they have a Blanc and Malphite and I've been dying to them. I check out this package. I package him but he W's at the same time I package him. So I land on top of where he W'd. That is really unfortunate. Luckily this Blanc, Blanc jumps forward, suicides, dies. And we get a kill. Use missiles to pack your Trinity Force so you can do more damage to turrets and stuff too. When you're looking to kill turrets. Team fighting. I probably shouldn't face check, but you do a lot of damage. Let your front line be in front of you. Throw your missiles, land everyone that you can. Boom. Boom. Give up on him. You see misfortune here. And this guy just gets blasted by me. Boom, boom, and check this out. Mine, 
Me to kill. Yeah. Baron spawn. I got the package. We're going for Baron, boys. Ward the side. And we start the Baron. We see enough people. We hit this thing. And the cool thing with packages here, like check out my package usage. Watch. I go behind the Baron so I can set it to fire. And I block the entrance of where they come from. Boom, 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 boom. So he has to run through that now and he's burning. And we get a free Baron. You probably shouldn't do what I'm about to do. Yeah, right here. Check this out. I see the kill in my eyes. Don't do it, friends. I jump in, I get mouth open, and I die. Now nah, I'm a sad corky. But I have an infinity edge. And my score's still only 667. That's not ideal. When you're playing Corky, you pick him not to necessarily kill your enemy laner. You pick him so that you can clear the wave, control the wave, and have first ability to roam in case something happens in the map. And it's really not that important that you kill your enemy laner. It's important that you hit every CS. It's important that you do not die. And the most important thing is to keep the pace of the game in your favor because Corky is very strong at doing that. And you want to get to your core item spikes. Once you get Trinity Force, you can fight. Once you get Infinity Edge, you can fight. But you don't really want to fight until you get those items. And make sure to play Corky not too aggressively because that's a downfall of a lot of people. You want to get your items and then that's when you can go off. And thanks for watching the My Amazing Tips and Tricks video. Yeah.